Jello, darlings. Jess, it's me, that gal from the future who keeps getting sutured, Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And with the help of technology, I am broadcasting this program to you from 10,000 years in the future. No way. Yes, way! I accidentally set the Wayback Machine to way forward, and I kind of ended up slightly ahead of my arrival time. <laughs> Oh, well, not as far ahead as that guy, but it's nice to know that I'm still looking good 10,000 years from now. What's my secret, you ask? Hello, crew! That's your cue! What? <laughs> Why, thanks for asking. If you really want to know my beauty secret, it's... Acting. That's right. You're only as old as you act. So I never act my age, <laughs> just my IQ, which just turned 21. You know, another one of my tricks to staying looking and feeling young is to prancercise. Uh, but not in high heels. <clears throat> well, so the safest and best exercise for beauty is to get plenty of sleep. You know, I do a lot of sleeping on the job and behind the wheel of my car and whenever anybody else is talking. Oh, and talking of talking in your sleep, have I ever got a sleeper for you? Well, yes, indeed I do. Now, if you like Valley of the Dolls and Hello Dolly, then I know you're going to get off on this feature, which features a little creature called Doll Man. Now, some of the smallest actors in town were considered for the title role. Hervé Villachez, uh, Gary Coleman, Danny DeVito, and of course Tom Cruise. But their egos were all too big for the costume. Come to think of it, my egos are getting a little too big for my costume. So why don't you leave? What? And quit show business? Okay, I gotta get back to work. Now, uh, let me see, where did I leave off in that last dream? Oh yeah, I remember. You were there, and, and you were there, and... I don't think you were there, and... Was that you in a gorilla mask? When will this nightmare be over? Oh, good thinking. I better set my alarm clock. <laughs> I want to make sure I wake up after the movie. Doll man. Over already? Uh, <clears throat> so, how'd you like Doll Man? Hello, crew, that's your cue. What? <sighs> Why, everyone on my crew is such a doll. Anyway, this movie won the award for Best Science Friction Short Subject. Phew, I wish someday somebody would explain the difference to me between science friction and non-science friction, because they both seem made up to me. But I think this was more of a science affliction movie, because everyone gets afflicted by science. You can't kill me anymore. No, but cigarettes can. I know, because they saw the pie chart. Now, I was never very good at math, but I know that 36 times 24 equals 36. And the M and M C squared equals the real slim shady. And that if you drop an apple and a bowling ball from a building at the same time, you are more likely to hit someone with a bowling ball, according to this new cult religion called gravity. But sleeping through Doll Man reminded me of way back when I was just a little Elvira, mistress of the doll. And I think about all those times I didn't answer the door when opportunity knocked, because I thought it was the landlord trying to collect rent. And I think about all the chances I had to steal, set fires, and vandalize. But I chose to go into topless broadcasting on TITSFM, which was closed after the FCC insisted on attending every broadcasting. Which, of course, reminds me of how I arrived in Hollywood. My house was swept up by this tornado in Kansas. You know, Kansas, also known as the show me to the emergency room state. Well, gang, it's been a bang. It's been a bang, gang. I've got a bomb you could use. Uh, no thanks. They give me gas. Oh, that's the taco truck. I just loves them fish tacos. So, I'll see VJ you later. You're just gonna walk away? 
Oh, I almost forgot. Unpleasant dreams. <laughs>